Hi guys! So, today I'm not in my painting clothes yet. I will be making a painting later, so if you don't want to hear the story about how I got into painting, and I will show you also my first ever fluid art painting, and it's a big one, then skip ahead, I won't know this. So let me tell you how this all happened. Most of you won't know this, but I got a own company for like 8 years now and it's a branding agency. I do graphic design, web design, marketing during the day, so it's very creative. So one day, like 5 years ago, I had so much energy beside my work and I really wanted to do something creative as well, but on a different level. Didn't know what to do, but one day I was on Facebook and I saw this artist, Nitra Art, and I will link his uh, info in the description. And he makes beautiful, vibrant, colorful uh, African animals. I was so much in love with his work and his style. So I wanted to look him up. I checked Google, couldn't find his website. So I thought, let's send him a message. I will make your website if you learn me how to paint. He reacted very positive and the next week I went to Antwerp because he lives in Belgium. We were in the art store all morning learning coloring, compasses, brands, tools, everything I, I wanted to know and he wanted to tell me. After that it was such a gorgeous day. We went to the park and painted all day and yeah i learned a lot and instantly it clicked this is what i want to do so i went home bought a lot a lot of canvases a lot of paint and started the nights every night after work every free hour went into art making paintings watching youtube videos trying it all I sent him all my pictures of my paintings, he provided me with feedback and said well, don't be afraid of color, one day you will find your style. And when it clicked, it was a video of a girl and she mixed her paints with water. It was so cool because what happened there on the canvas, I've never seen that. So I want to try it as well, she made also gorgeous cells. So, like, for a month or something, I tried mixing and it didn't work and yeah, scrape it off again, let's go, let's go. But this was something that clicked and I wanted to nail this. So I went on and on and finally I made one big piece. I was so happy with and it's still living, oh, it's still living. Yeah, it's still living in our living room. <laughs> And from that moment on, I knew this is what I need to do. This is something that is my passion. This is where I am free, where there's no worry in the world. There's just my paints, my colors, my canvas and me. Nothing else is hurt at that moment. So I'm a fluid art addict at the moment. Guys, I will show you my first fluid art painting. It's in the living room, so let's go there. Hey guys, this is my very first fluid art painting. It's a big one, it's 80 by 80 centimeters. And I remember I didn't know how to make cells, so I used bubble wrap looks cool in this one so vibrant as well and the paint was so thick I needed to tilt it for like yeah, 10 minutes to let it come across the other side still hanging in our living room and in love with it every day okay enough with the talking let's make a little painting it's time for some action I'm gonna start with yellow Violet Primary Blue and Bronze 
well, pull right around this. You know how it works, right? Blow the white over. Not much is happening. And now blow it out. Oh, what a lot of things are happening in this one. This is cool. Okay, I'm gonna give you a close up. This was a very fast painting, but I like it. It's so centered, also, the blue in the middle. That's beautiful. Thank you guys for listening to my story and watching my video of course and see you next time.